So this is what I've done to it so far. Added some leaves after my flowers. A little detail, not done yet, of course. So I did the wings first so I can get the like the mix of the colors. And then of course they have the black around the edges and little white dots for details after. So this is the easiest way for me to do it. Yep. <laughs> Too much. There you go. I feel like I need to sneeze. But I really don't want to. Something that drives me nuts about painting is like you make stuff all the time and then you cover it up and you gotta like show it again and you cover it up again. It drives me crazy. Okay. Oh my god, I dropped black paint right there. You see that? Oh, why? <laughs> How did I manage that? Oh, great. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh. I mean, I gotta go over it anyway. The details with black soon, but still, it's finally getting dry. So I wanna smudge it and then I drop paint on it. Typical. I always do that kind of stuff. I need just such a small amount because my green dried up because I used it all. So I. <laughs> I wanted only a little dot, so I literally took a little bit right off the cap. 
<laughs> Don't judge. Do not judge. I swear there is a method to my madness most times. Like painting, it's relaxing. I don't always get to paint because sometimes my my daughter doesn't want to paint with me or draw with me and doesn't want to do anything else. So I have to work around her. But when she's happy to just sit around and or do some artistic crafts with me, that's when I really. I'm really happy because I love including her in everything. The show driving crazy. I usually don't hear it, but the fact that I know that. It's on this now that everyone could hear it. That isn't crazy. <sighs> Got a stem right here. Which you probably can't see on the camera. It's really tiny. And it kind of hides. That's why I'm big on outlining everything in black. Because I don't like when I feel like my picture is getting lost in the background. you get outlining things you're like why did I make so many leaves big on the relaxation and fun of painting. Things don't always turn out like I want them to, but I enjoy doing it. It helps relax me. Good stress relief. Spin this thing everywhere. <laughs> Trying to get the best angle. Did I get them all? <laughs> did I get them? Uh, it looks like I did. 
So once my butterfly dries, then I gotta add some white in it too. I might add a little bit more of a black line. Yeah, yep, I've decided. I was gonna clean off my brush, but I kinda already did. <laughs> but now I'm like, ah, I don't know, a little bit more. I want to be able to put some white in the black part as well. Not just like a little design. So I definitely need a little bit more wing here. It should look cool when I'm done. I'm hoping. I enjoy doing it at least. So I guess that's all that matters. Yeah, that's better. That's better to me. I don't know. I'm going to wait for this to dry. So it doesn't smudge everything. Or mix the white and the black and give me some gray that I don't want. What do you think? It's cute, right? Got my silly cow over here licking his nose. <laughs> a little baby cow. That's kind of what I thought it was going to be, like a little baby cow. Because I don't know, I picture the tongue as being like a playful thing. Even though I doubt that's really what it is. Cow could just have an itch. <laughs> Try to make him look fuzzy. I think he's cuter if he's fuzzy. I see he's all fuzz. I do have a blow dryer type thing, but I did not dig it out. So, just waiting a little bit. 